And so we prepare ourselves to come to the Lord's table. And we first of all, our time of prayer, which we shall pray for the world in which we live and for the people around us. And also we shall express our faith in God, our Father. Let us uh, pray. O oh, Heavenly Father, Lord God, you are the Father Almighty, and we confess to you that we believe in you, the creator and the ruler of all things. And we confess to you that we believe in Jesus Christ, your Son, our only Lord and Saviour. Through his life and his death on the cross and his resurrection, he conquered sin and death, forgiving our sins and reconciling us to you, O Lord. And we believe in the Holy Spirit, through whom Christ dwells in the hearts of all who believe, sanctifying us in the truth. And Lord, we believe in your church, which is the body of Christ, and which is the fellowship of the saints. And we believe in the Holy Scriptures, Lord, and in the ministry of word and sacrament. And we believe in the coming of your kingdom, O Lord, and in the blessed hope of life eternal through our Lord Jesus Christ. We believe that the chief end of mankind is to glorify you and to enjoy you, Lord, forever. So hear us as we pray for that peace that is from above and for the salvation of all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who share in the work and the witness and the ministry of the church, for ministers, ordained ministers and church leaders, for elders and for teachers and evangelists, and for all Christian people in their daily work and witness. Lord, may we fulfill our ministry with a pure heart and a good conscience. May we proclaim the wonderful deeds of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvellous light. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray to you, Lord, for our rulers in local and national government, for those who represent us in the Welsh Government and at Westminster, and for all who have authority to lead the nation. We pray that they may seek and receive your guidance in these difficult times to make wise decisions and with an enlightened and a good conscience may they at all times be true to that which is right and just and be zealous in your all humility to serve and promote the well-being of all those whom they represent. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray to you, O Lord, for all who are sick and suffering at this time, for all who are lonely, and for those who are close to death, and for all who are bereaved and sorrowful. And we think especially of those known to us. For the family of Gwyneth Evans, and for others 
especially those who have been recently suddenly bereaved. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray to the Lord for the poor and needy throughout the world. In those countries where the COVID pandemic is raging and those places where they are suffering natural disasters, storms, floods, wildfires, and those places where conflict is raging. We think especially of Afghanistan at this time. We pray for the hungry and the homeless, the desolate and the unemployed, for refugees and the stateless, and for those who suffer persecution, and for all prisoners of conscience. We lift to you, Lord, in our hearts, any whom we know, whose situation we know in, and we pray for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For we offer our prayers in the name of Jesus, our Saviour, who taught us when we pray to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. As we prepare to come to the Lord's table, we shall sing together the first two verses of number 942, and we'll sing the remaining verses after communion. 942, and remain seated while we sing this hymn. Here, O my Lord, I see thee face to face. Here would I touch and handle things unseen. Here grasp with firmer hand the eternal grace and all my weariness upon thee lean. So we come to the Lord's table. The Lord's table is open to all who love the Lord Jesus in all sincerity. All who acknowledge him as Lord and Saviour. 
we don't recognize any denominational barriers here. If you love the Lord, we invite you in his name to join with us in this holy fellowship. Jesus said, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. The Apostle Paul records for us in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, chapter 12, chapter 11 actually, he records for us how this sacrament first began. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you. That the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the cup after supper, saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let us therefore follow the example of our Lord Jesus Christ in word and in action. May the peace of the Lord be with us all. Let us pray. Gwedhiwn, y mae'r arglwydd yma, mae ei ysbryd yn bresennol. Dyrchafwch eich calonau, fe dyrchafwn at yr arglwydd. Rhwn ddiolch i'r arglwydd ein diw. Mae'n iawn i ni roi iddo ddiolch all Lord. The Lord is here, his spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. We praise you, Almighty Father, for creating all things and for making us in your own image. We thank you that while we were yet sinners, you gave your only Son, Jesus Christ, to live as one of us, to suffer death on the cross, and to rise again for our salvation. Therefore, with all your creation in heaven and on earth, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Sanctaith, sanctaith, sanctaith argluith, the eu pob gallu a grym, neva dair sy'n llawn o'th o gonient, Hosanna yn y gori chaf. Therefore, Heavenly Father, in praise and thanksgiving, we now make this memorial of the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ. We proclaim his triumphant resurrection. We celebrate our redemption through him and we look to his coming again in glory. By the power of your Holy Spirit, bless these gifts of bread and wine, the fruit of the earth worked by human hands, that through them we may receive in faith the body and blood of our living Lord. Help us to approach your table in humility and expectation and receive a spiritual blessing. Unite us to Christ and his people on earth and in heaven. And bring us all at the end, Lord, to feast with you in the joy of your heavenly kingdom. Through Jesus our Lord. Amen.
the way that we take communion uh, using these individual cups is um, there are two layers of film. If you, when we get to the appropriate point, you peel away the top film and there will be a communion wafer underneath. And then afterwards, later, when we take the wine, you peel away the second layer and you'll be able to drink the wine. And so we remember. And also so we peel away the top layer. The Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us take and remember. We can peel the second layer now. Arin Moth Hevid, the Gemera the Kupan are all super cantwayed, a Kupan Hun, your Kavamod Newid and Vung Widey. Gwenauchin, Bob Trower of Ugev, Er Kov and Danav. In the same way, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Let us drink with thankful hearts. Oin du, see then do in a mouth, bechod ar bid, to gar ha orthim. Oin du, see then do in a mouth, bechod ar bid, Doro ini de dang neveth. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Lord, we thank you that we have had this opportunity of taking bread and wine, symbols of the body and the blood of our living Lord. They remind us how he suffered and died on the cross for us and how he lives forevermore. Help us, Lord, to dedicate ourselves now in your service, to live and work in thanksgiving for what you have done for us. Fill us anew with your Holy Spirit and send us out to live for your praise and glory. Amen. We sing the remaining two verses of number 942. Here would I feed upon the bread of God.
ewch mewn tang nefedd yw asynaeth i'r arglwydd, a bendith diw holl a lleog, a tad a mab ar ysbryd lan, a fyddw gyda chwi yn wastad. Go in peace to serve the Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen.